these are the clumps that we are trying to produce in oyster gardening for restoration. So this looks more like a natural oyster reef. So believe it or not, this is one of the reasons that uh, we haven't had as many oysters as we would like uh, naturally in Alabama. And this is what we call the oyster drill. And this little guy uh, is actually one of the most significant predators of oysters uh, in Alabama. One of the things that you can see, talking about some of the oyster drills that we spoke about over at the farm, is you can see the egg casings from the drill. So this tells us that the drills are here. Even if the oysters themselves don't make it, which is unfortunate, the shell itself is, is habitat. You can see a little stone crab, which I dropped. Again, this is going to produce a, a, a natural reef type oyster, big clumps of oyster that form a reef structure. Uh, so not only are we, we restoring oyster habitat, but it's creating a reef structure for, for other animals to use also. The habitat, we know of uh, 300 different species of vertebrates and invertebrates that utilize oyster reefs. Uh, for habitat at different stages of their life cycles. Uh, the filtration capacity of these animals is really incredible. An adult oyster can filter up to four gallons of water an hour. So they, uh, it, they're they just really powerhouse filters. When we replant a reef, we're not only providing the habitat, but we're providing the benefit to the water quality of the area as well. So this is another value of a reef uh, restoration project is when we do plant this shell, you can see the juvenile oyster, the spat, will set on this shell. So here's some more spat. And you can see the little purple color, a little fan shaped. Grows real flat to this shell until it gets some size on it, then it'll peel off and form more of a clump like you would see. And here's, uh, there's one there, there's one here. Uh, looks like a little bit larger one here. So this would have been uh, this past season set. And hopefully, these will grow and survive and spawn to reproduce more larvae for this area.